how to do a financial reset after a major life event so that you can leapfrog ahead with your net worth, wealth, and financial growth. I'm Justin Hitt with Sustainable Wealth Secrets. Whether you've had a divorce, a death in the family, a major life event like a child being born or an adoption, there is a surefire way to reset your financial situation, to turn it quickly into the direction you desire, and it goes very simply with any certified financial planner, CPA, or uh, financial institution that is fee-based. Now, let me explain why this is important. First off, the steps that I'm going to share with you in this podcast are easy to implement, but because they're easy, most people don't implement them. They also implement them haphazardly because the resources to work with you are available in a variety of forms. So I mentioned certified financial planner. A fee-based certified financial planner is available through any bank as a referral or in your local market. Just Google certified financial planner near me and there's like a 100 of them. Also, any bank where you can get a mortgage or you can get a loan, they will volunteer their banking professionals to help you do this. Here's the problem. The approach that most people take does not build their net worth or increase their value because very often they're more worried about getting the loan or they're more worried about uh, getting the right interest rate or they're more worried about something that is abstract to the bottom line function of what is your current situation. So I have a, a formula that I use a lot with clients and the formula is a six step approach that I'm going to share with you in the context of your financial situation, Um, but it starts with the core, which is set some kind of goal. You need to have a goal set about what we're doing here. Now, the majority of the Sustainable Wealth Secrets uh, clients and subscribers, their goal is to have wealth that grows on its own. So basically, some kind of principal or principal asset that cash flows significantly over their necessarily daily expenses. Okay, and, and for some people, that's millions of dollars, and for other people, that's not millions of dollars. It just depends. It could be a business that cash flows to provide for their day-to-day needs, and, it, and for other people, it could be real estate, and for other people, it could be a large principal. But that's a goal you've got to write down. You may not be in that situation today where the interest of, of the work you've done in the past – creates revenue, in many cases, passive revenue that covers your expenses, but you got to have some kind of goal because once you have a goal, then you can do a full assessment of your situation. Now, I'm going to meet with a financial planner tomorrow, and we're going to talk about my debt situation, my asset situation, and how I should approach uh, gaining a number of assets in a uh, in a, in a life event. Um you know, now a meeting with a bank, they're going to want me to invest it. They're going to want me to liquidate. They're going to want me to consolidate accounts. I know this in advance. Meeting with a certified financial planner, they have no skin in the game. I'm paying for their time. I'm paying for their expertise. They can look at my investments to see whether or not I'm returning a certain rate. There are software tools that we use online and we talk about in some of the coaching programs that can tell you how are you performing in relationship to the marketplace. Uh, Some of them can do regression testing and back testing and determine whether or not how you might be doing in the future and what's the probability of you reaching your your retirement goals. Very important. Very important. But you've got to bring everything to the table. See, what I see a lot of times, somebody going for a loan, they don't bring in the whole portfolio of all the debt they have. You know, they're going to miss a few credit cards here and there because, you know, we're just going to pay them off next week anyway. Well, no, I want to see you sit down at the table completely naked completely transparent about your properties and the positions you're in with those properties and what do you want to do with those properties. Completely transparent with your uh, debt situation, student loans, uh, uh, credit cards, car loans, personal loans. How much is the minimum obligation of those loans? What's the terms? What are the average interest rates? What's your cost for capital? All these things. Uh, You want to talk about what your goals are. Do you want to own your home outright before retirement? Because you're planning to stay in that home over time. Do you want to have a year's worth of income or a year's worth of expenses in the bank as your emergency fund? All that stuff outlined. Because once you've got an assessment of your actual situation, meaning you should be able to access all your accounts, 
and know that all your accounts are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Once you have that base assessment, then we can start doing gap analysis. Hey, Mr. Client, you said you wanted to have $100 million in the bank in the next 20 weeks because you're going to buy four Lamborghinis. Okay, well, let's look at your current situation. Well, if you from your current situation to the $100 million, you're going to have to add $99.9999999 million into the bank. What what resources do you have to do that? Let's look at those resources. What's the potential of those resources? See, it doesn't matter what the goal is. It could be ridiculous to everybody else. Could make a lot of sense to you. Uh, Elon Musk, since 13 years old, wanted to go to Mars. At 13, it was a little absurd. At his current age, and in his current position, not that absurd. But if he didn't have that that large, big, giant goal when he was young, he wouldn't have what he has today. So again, I don't care what your goals are. They could they could sound ridiculous to me. They could sound ridiculous to you. But once we know your current situation and we do the gap analysis, we can see where we need to focus effort, maybe set a couple milestones, and we can start with, again, our step four, which is the action plan. The first thing you're going to do is, at, is doing this assessment is you're not going to rely on your own knowledge. The assessment, you're going to have to sit in front of a CPA, a certified financial planner, that's a CPA, a CFP, certified financial planner. Oh, wait, certified public accountant is CPA. Anyway, I get excited about these things because they work. When you sit down with all your numbers on on the paper, you're going to find out whether you're even accurately tracking your expenses. I looked at one time, I was spending a bunch of money on staff and the staff were barely breaking even. But the amount of time I was taking with those staff was actually sucking time away from uh, revenue and the revenue that I was losing was more than the staff while I was paying the staff. And then I looked at it and I was like, well, you know, I don't need this many staff. I could cut them in half. I could take half the time that I have and add it to the revenue. That revenue would pay for them. They're paying for themselves already. I got them paid for twice. Now, that doesn't mean I need to double staff because I'm paying for them twice. I needed to have other reserves set aside because of other goals. But my point being is it was obvious that since I was paying for the staff twice that I should add more staff. It wasn't obvious that as I added more staff, I'd take more time, which would take away the money from the beginning that was originally paying for the staff. There's all these little circular things going on with money. And if you want sustainable wealth, that that circular has to spin off more cash than is required to keep the, the wheel spinning. Okay, does that make sense to you? When you sit down and get your base assessment, when you sit down and start doing gap analysis, you're going to meet with more than one person. See, it's easy to meet with your bank. It's easy to meet with a certified financial planner. It's easy to meet with your CPA. It's difficult to meet with all three. And when you meet with all three, your CPA will be looking at your tax situation. Your certified financial planner will tend to look at your long-term situation, your, your retirement situation. And the bank is going to be looking at loans. And and their utilization of capital and how much money they can make off you, whether you're in their brokerage firm or you're in their uh, financial portfolio uh, as a borrower. But once you've done that and you sat down with all those people, you're going to have these tips. You're going to have these ideas. You're going to have this information that we can sit down and do an action plan. So now you've taken ideas and concepts and you know exactly where to apply your time and effort. Now, you don't have to do exactly what these people tell you. You can do something that's hybrid to it. You can do something that is informed by it, but again, you can do something. A lot of people today are paralyzed by their financial situation. They want sustainable wealth, but they're scared because they have a lot of debt right now. They want sustainable wealth, but they've been debt-free for so long, they don't actually have any leverage. Again, this gets you to the place where you have an action plan, but unfortunately, guess what? Some people get a plan, they do a couple things, you know, and they, they kind of just peter out. They're like, you know what, I got a new problem, something else to worry about, and then they get distracted, and then they don't get any results. Well, step number five is the implementation. You need hardcore, solid implementation, project-based implementation, implementation that is specifically focused on the actions that create certain deliverables, and then as you create the deliverables, you start building momentum, understanding that wealth, asset accumulation, cash flow, all these things are mechanical results of specific actions. You don't need to earn a lot of money to be in a position where you're uh, able to pay for your expenses out of the savings and investments that you have in place. 
You, the vehicles might not be savings and investments. The vehicles might be the job that you have. You've invested in a degree or certification in order to increase your income. And by increasing your income and your expenses staying the same, you are able to save more and reduce debt, buy assets to cash flow. The action is important. The implementation is important. But guess what? A lot of folks stop there. A lot of folks never go to the sixth step. The sixth step ties back into your second step, which is the base assessment, and it is your measurements. You've got to measure your progress towards these specific goals so that you can make adjustments as you move along the way. See, the reason you got into the position in the first first place where you're unsure if you're going to meet your goals, where you maybe had a financial challenge, you had a major life event you just weren't ready for, kids going to college and you didn't save any money. And you think, well, you know what? This kid, he can, they can pay for their own way. Well, if you'd done it the right way, you could have lent money to the kid. They could have paid you back. You could have then freed up money that had grown tax-free. You could just give the kid money so that they get the hell out of the house. Uh, you, there's a lot of things that you could do. The difference is when the life event comes, I want you to have choices. These six steps give you choices. Now, I could go into these steps for a whole day, and we could go deep dive into some of these things over a multi-week program, but understand, it is just six steps. Every expert that you need, there's an unlimited supply of them, and when you take these steps, you start packaging up the actions you need so that you actually see results as you go. It's actually easier to take these six steps than it is to struggle for years and not have the wealth that you that you deserve, to not have the financial security and flexibility that is easily accomplished on a even a moderate income. And ultimately, these six steps are available for you now. Of course, because it's easy, a lot of people aren't going to do it. Um, but again, I could have I could have explained this in a way that's not clear. So if you have any questions, visit www.sustainablewealthsecrets.com. Contact my offices. Ask your questions. I'll be happy to explain in detail how this works, how you can apply this. And if there's enough interest, we'll actually do a workshop or a program where we'll go through the steps. In fact, certified financial planners, CPAs, all these people are so readily available that I could bring one in for every person in the workshop. And you could get this done in a day. In fact, I was working with a financial planner who has a $25,000 workshop. Okay, so people pay $25,000 to show up at this workshop where they parade in a CPA, a financial planner, and uh, several banks to go over these high net worth families' uh, resources in order to come up with plans on how they can lower their cost per capital. You know, how much does it cost for you to borrow? How do we lower that? Help them get more out of the properties they have, even convert properties uh, so that they go from liabilities to assets. Change. They also have a lawyer in there as well to look at the structure. Some assets structured in a business have a better tax position, so they make the same income, but uh, structured as a business, you actually get more net. And then some of the calculations, I agree, I agree, some of the assessment is difficult because you've got to do some math and you've got to do some things like, like create a profit and loss. But again, if you have the right bookkeepers and you have the right resources, this comes together. Now, this $25,000 program was for high net worth individuals. It was nothing for them to spend $25,000 and then spend a week somewhere, Uh, usually in a resort. They'd spend a week and they'd work with these individual people and work on their business because because they did just did it once once a year for a week. Now, the implementation goes on all year long, but unfortunately, a lot of people who are not using these six steps are fumbling around, worried, they're going to the bank and the banks wants to give them a loan, but they don't really need a loan. They may have had the cash that would have been uh, better uh, utilized by buying that investment property or a combination of the two, but they never sat down and did the assessment. They didn't do a real gaps analysis. They did a wishy-feely gaps analysis and they came up with immaterial actions that they could take that feel like they're doing something, but they're not the hard and tough actions that are necessary to multiply your net worth, to build your, for example, an emergency fund. If you have a year's worth of income in your emergency fund, spinning off cash, your emergency fund grows. But in the event you lose your job, then you have a year to find another job. How much better can you find an opportunity if you're not all stressed out about paying the bills? 
It's an amazing position that you'll be in following these six steps. And again, if you want help implementing these six steps, visit us at www.sustainablewealthsecrets.com to ask your questions. You're under no obligation to hire me for anything. but And, and of course, you can hire a CPA, a certified financial planner, or all these people. They're, they're like everywhere. Uh, and, and you can pay them. Don't pay me. Pay them. They'll go over your books. Again, though, you have to work them in the structure because once you package up the action plan and you start implementing and you start measuring, you're going to accelerate. And again, the more money you have, the more people want to do business with you. But ultimately, this acceleration creates financial security. This acceleration creates protection for you and your family. This acceleration drives home the premise of sustainable wealth secrets, wealth that cannot be taken away, wealth that provides for you no matter what the economy does, and wealth that delivers the outcomes that you desire. You don't need a government to do this for you. You don't need some rich uncle. You don't need somebody to to, to make this happen in your life through the lottery. You can, with a modest income, create, cultivate, and produce assets that cash flow, that take care of you over time. Retire early if you want. Be in a position to do whatever you want. Again, it builds on these six steps. I'm Justin Hit with Sustainable Wealth Secrets. I'm delighted to hear about your success stories. I'm delighted to hear how you have implemented these six steps. And I'm looking forward to chatting with you next time. You can ask your questions at www.sustainablewealthsecrets.com.